Hello, everybody. It's DM John. What the hell are y'all doing? I'm just kicking back. This is a gym pick on the guitar. What do you reckon? You reckon he can play a little bit? It's a Friday night. I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go. Answer it real quick. Life is hers. Hello. You you guys have called me a billion and twenty times, and I told the last person that called, I have no idea who the woman is that you're trying to get life insurance for. So this is not somebody else has called you guys. So, can you please stop calling me? Thank you. Wow, man. Shit, I just found that. It's on a different scale, but it worked. What's up? Thank you. 
So I just invite you to say, Just invite a river.
Smith Paul off his chair when he heard it. All of it pumped. That's all his country board. Okay. Guess when you thought John Denver was all on that good country. My dad did country board and his own brother. John Denver did his own brother. This is the Blackmore, George McClinton, and Paul of it funk. Remember Funkadelics and all that? Wait till you hear this. And then he's a juice heart. <laughs> and then he's a juice heart. You know, love it. You crank it up when you play it. I know Mike makes like smoking weed again, so I don't know if he should or not. But Richard fell off his seat when he heard he was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then he broke out some old stones. Not the stones. You know, patiently, what's that song? Waiting so patiently. What's it called? Now, who's the people you want? All of the fault. And the song's called Country Boy. Parliament. Funk. Parliament Funk, what's it called? All one word. I guess. That's the name of the song. 
they got it. They got maybe maybe they got is this them right there? Funkadelic Knife Party. Yeah. What what album is it on? Doctor Frankenstein. I don't know. Parliament. What's this song? Put punch ball. Where was this song at? That's the first one. Parliament Funk. See, I'm funky. P Funk wants to get funked up. Parliament Funk. It was the very first one we had on them. This one. This is Parliament Funk. Yep, all in funk. It ain't got. It's got cracking. Part you want Parliament funk? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. That's all. Uh -huh. Right there, crank it up, crank it up, crank it something. It's called cracking. Hold on. That's not it. That's not it. I don't take no shit. I have more than one song in my album. It's all country. Once upon a time, the Cinderella lady of mine opened up. 
Once upon a time, it's with the lady of mine. Open up her eyes and check the sunshine. Yeah, shining yeah. through the light. Like. She just get out of bed. There's no about the doubt. She doesn't need a panic. Or pick up a light like night call. He's looking for a song called Country Boy. Are you sure it's by these people? So what's the topic? Okay. Give me that right there. That's right there. That's 10. This is the topic. What do y'all think? So what I was thinking was Hand me that thing with the flag on it yeah, just pick it up by the flag. So, this could be used as a small playing board. It's very, very, very modular. It's very portable. It even has a handle on it. I haven't made this magnetic yet. <laughs> yes, magnets, magnets, magnets. Jim is going to bed because we can't find his song. Oh. 
but that's all right. When you go out and find the right animal, it's all comfortable. You will love it. But like that, so, uh, that. I'm on StreamYard. Yeah, whoops, right? I hit something with it. Give me a cigarette. Where you go? What animals on? They don't know. They ask me, you can smoke. Where you go to bed? So, what would y'all like to talk about? I've got, I'm on StreamYard. Does anybody want to join? Anybody want to join? How about we just put in country boy? He's got a jam for us tonight. Country Boy, George Jones, Country Boy, Alan Jackson, Country Boy, Joe Bratt, Up Church, Aaron Lewis, Duba Tears, Yay Ye, The Lax, Country Boy's Paradise. I don't know. So, what would y'all like to talk about? Try to get some prepping done. Well, I'm trying to get all kinds of things done. Crick at her by that song. That's it. He found the song he wanted. All right, Jack, I'm coming. What do you say, Jack? Hey, I looked at that. Uh, I looked at that. Uh, uh, one of those characters. So far, guess what I got today, guys? I got another truck. Got me a 2012 Silverado Crew Cab with a, uh, you know, with four wheel drive. So, what would you like to talk about tonight, Mr. Zach? You got anything you want to talk about? What's happening? Uh, hold on. Let me turn this music off. Now, so what's happening? Um, today was a quiet day. I went to the gym. I made a hell of a damn dinner. Um, took my braids out finally. Because I, you know, went to the damn gym. Um, it's Friday night. Um, I'm ready to play some D&D. &D. Anybody want to play? Me and Zach are going to play some DDO here after the show. So, um, you know, let's 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 do it. If anybody wants to play, um, I would sure enjoy y'all's company. I'm sure Zach would. What do you think, Zach? Sure. No. You said you looked at one of those Pathfinder characters? Yes, I did. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. That's what I mean. Uh, I think it was this one here. I have to look. Let me open it up and I can share the screen. Nope, that's... That is something else. All right. Well, let me find it. Hold on. 
because I've got it in a zip file. Uh, let me put my damn glasses on. And I unzipped it. First, A1. Okay, that's the trade way. Personality traits. Hold on a second. No, that's not it. Okay, guys, I'm opening this screen up. And uh, this is the uh, PDF reader that I have. These are all personality traits. Let me let me find it, uh, Zach, um, because I do have it here. Ultimate Combat, Ultimate Magic, Advanced Player's Guide, Core, Occult Adventures. Hold on. Oh, you know where I put it? Uh -huh. Now I know. Oh, I put it in documents. Okay. Uh, oh. right, I got another good one for you. Easy to find. The door is Black Sunday. And Mitch Roseburg did that one time. Oh, yeah? By the door is Black Sunday. I got you. You'll love that other jam. Zach, I can't find, seem to find it. So what I'm going to do is uh open this damn i downloaded that son of a gun i've got advanced class guide oh the arcan uh, arcanist extract all i'm just going to extract them all extract so i'm extracting all these documents that zach sent me you guys zach sent me a pile of stuff uh he sent me a couple emails i was going through the emails a few minutes ago and I haven't uh, got them all yet, but uh, this is a bunch of stuff here. So, oh, I got a whole lot more. Oh, uh, cool! Send it, send it, send it. Um, so, uh, okay. So it was the Arcanist, is what I opened. Right now, I'm just moving files to where I can see them. Yeah, that's what I opened. It was the Ar Ar Arcanist. Level one. Yeah, this is the one right here. Let me share the screen. Can you all see that? So this is a Pathfinder character. So I'm sharing it on my screen. Zach, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about this. So her name is Anora. She's a halfling first level. She's got a plus one to... In initiative or plus two to initiative and plus one to perception so uh, from what i'm seeing this is a lot like 5e um armor class 13 what does touch mean uh touch ac so so if that's if somebody went to go touch her yeah without her permission yeah. right uh like a touch attack okay but now uh so so basically your armor classes so why do they even go there i'm, I'm kind of curious because if she's got an armor class of 13 then it's just an armor class of 13. i, I don't know why they go in uh, right okay so you mean if i if i was a caster and i wanted to cast a spell on her 
I would have to uh, do it, make a roll to hit her with her, my uh, for her armor class. Yeah. Even if I was a friendly. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. And I can understand why, because if she's fighting and you're trying to touch her, then it might be a little bit difficult. So I, I understand how that might apply. So then we've got uh, hit points 11, uh, fortitude uh, plus two. So that's like a, a, a constitution, right? Yeah. And then reflex, that's uh, dexterity. Will is your uh, uh, wisdom. And plus two versus fear, 30 feet movement. She's got a quarter staff and then a light crossbow. Um, now, what is the slash 19 dash 20? Oh, uh, crit range. Okay, so she can critical hit between a 19 and a 20. Now, uh, that's modified, correct, or natural? Uh, natural. Okay. Special attacks, Arcane Reservoir. I think I might like Pathfinder. I mean, I just, you know, it's it seems like it'd be easy to learn. So anyway, Zach sent me, let's, let's look at another character. Let me, let me find one. I need to put the stream over on another. Anybody wants to join, please come on and join. I mean, it's always me and Zach. Nobody else wants to ever join. And I don't understand it. Even if you're preparing for a dungeon, it's not that big of a deal. You can, We can talk about your preparation. I mean, uh, uh, you know. Um, so, all right. Let's um, see here. So, ultimate combat. What is that? Gunsner, level four. Oh, look at her. Are all yeah. these women? There's a ton of them. Wow. Elf. Now, what does Ultimate Combat 9 mean? Oh. Uh. I'm not sure. I never played a gunslinger before. Okay, but I'm kind of figuring that that's kind of like a, I don't know, it sounds like a fighting style. I mean, you know, I'm just guessing because I've never played Pathfinder, so I don't know, but if I had to hazard a guess... I would say that's what it is. I've got a question for you guys that are crafters. So for just a second, Zach. So I don't really like the way this fire looks. It looks too. Hold on a second. Looks too flat. So I'm thinking about putting some gloss on it. I mean, I think the colors are okay. But it just doesn't look like fire to me. You know, on the bucket. What do you think, Zach? Uh, you want it a little bit more brighter? Well, I want it to look a little bit. Yeah, this looks a little too flat for me. What do you think? Uh, try to make it more orange. Okay. Put a little bit more orange in there. Dry brush it with an orange, maybe. Yeah. So I simulated a pile of wood and a, a split block of wood. Does that look pretty good? Yes. Yeah. Did I do a decent job on this? I need to paint the, the, the flagstaff. And then I'm going to magnetize it. But listen, guys. So, you know, Hate and I were talking about, you know, what's the easiest way to magnetize. So this is using 
magnetized tape and a piece of tin. And the reason why I bought this stuff or acquired this stuff was because I have a lot of, you know, dog food cans. So those cans could be, you know, you cut the top and bottom out and then you take a tin snip and flatten it out, hammer it out. And you could put it on basically any table with some hot glue or whatever. And then, you know, put a sheet of vellum over top of it. Draw your grid. Bang. You've got a portable freaking map that's magnetized. So what does everybody think about that? I mean, I think that's very interesting. I mean, because everybody is like all about magnetized terrain these days. You know, uh, that is one of hate's um, big, big things is the uh, magnetized terrain. So. You know, I'm just wondering. Hey, Cujo, what are you doing, buddy? Cujo, why don't you join the stream, bud? We're talking about terrain and uh, all that good stuff. And so far, Zach has only, he's been the only good sport here lately. I'd like to have, I can have up to five of you guys. So we got rivers and we got uh cujo and where's where's oh hate at come on hate join the show man i sent you an invite so yeah we me and hate have been talking about magnetized terrain and evidently my dragon is on the way so i'm anxious to see that so we're going to do an unboxing of the dragon and then we're going to uh, build a breath weapon like, like I've got for that green dragon of mine. Let me go get that green dragon. Hold on a second. Zach, tell these guys what morons they are for not joining us. It's very fun. <laughs> and Zach sends you all kinds of good stuff when you join. Don't send them anything unless they join. <laughs> so let me get this dragon real quick. <sighs> Dust him off. It looks like I'm no longer running any games anymore. Which really, really sucks. So, we're going to make a breath weapon that, you know, this one, you can remove it, and then you just have the dragon. Now, I took a rose from my son's rose bush. This here is a piece of dried bread that I painted. And then I've got your pile of treasure there, his, his hoard. He's a young green dragon, so he doesn't have a lot. He's got a pile of gold there. And that's all he has, some gold pieces. So there's a couple quarters in there, so they're, they're worth a little bit. So, you know, there'd be like a, I should have left some of them silver but I painted them all gold. I wasn't really thinking I could always change it because all this stuff just, you know, if you want to, you can break it loose just like I'm doing now, but I'm not going to, but yeah. So, so we're going to make a breath weapon and this thing, you know, uh, is removable and it stays in there pretty good. You can even kind of, 
cock it off to the side a little bit if you wanted to, but you don't need to. Uh, let me see if it's uh, go, and it goes in there either way. So it's it's definitely a pretty cool trick. And um, so I'm going to show everybody how I made this this little popsicle tampon. So this was a tampon. And I have one already ready. As a matter of fact, you want to make a breath weapon tonight. Let's do that. So I'm going to put the... You want to do that, Zach? Sure. Learn how to make a breath weapon. I mean, this is going to be not experimental because I've done it before. So let me put it... Let me put the camera over here. We'll, we'll go to the crafting station. Zach, you're going to have to watch the chat and stuff. I'm going to go to my crafting station. It looks like hell. I know. It's mine. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All that trash in the corner is materials out of the trash can. I mean, you know. It's just that simple. So I got the tampon ready. When it's hot, let me find the the rubber bands that I need. Now that might be a trick to find them. But any rubber bands will do, but I've got the right kind. That I need. I just need to find. Them. Here they are. So we want a piece of. Uh, should I adjust this camera some? Maybe up a little bit. How's that? Is that better? So where is it good at, Zach? that good all right so you want to get these little teeny rubber bands and uh, a zip tie and you're going to take the tampon okay you see it's all you, you get it wet first and then you're going to want to pull it apart like this now a white dragon is going to shoot ice. So, now what I did was I fluffed the ends out some, like so. Now, they're going to, don't worry if you pull it a little too much because you're going to take the hot glue gun in a minute. And fix all that. Okay, so you get the kind of shape that you want. Now I want this to be kind of kind of poofy on the end because it's a cloud of ice. Then you're gonna want to take the zip tie and take the end that's kind of bent like that, the 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 and just jam it down through there. Or you can put it like like this, not jam it down through there, but put it, you know, right there like that. And then you're going to take a rubber band. Ah, damn it, broke it. I used bigger rubber bands the last time. So this is this might be a little bit of a trick. You're gonna try to get this thing on here to hold it in place so you can use your hot glue gun. This is really tough with a crippled hand. I can tell you that. Okay, see there you go. All right, so you get that on there like that. 
All right. Then you go take a scissor. You're going to cut this off down in here. Sometimes a, there we go. All right. So I used two rubber bands last time. Now you want to turn the zip tie so that this is the, the blue part. See this. So when he shoots his breath weapon, he's got a little bit of a stream. So you're going to want to put this right here like that on the uh, zip tie because that's what's going to go in his mouth. All right. So let's get another rubber band. So this is how you make a breath weapon out of a tampon. You know, I always wondered how to do this and I knew it was with cotton and then I said wow man a tampon now if you were just going to do a stream well you just use the string but most dragon breaths are just that breath so you want to uh, make it into a cloud Now, this is getting a little bit of a pain in the neck here, but it's going to work. Don't you worry. I really don't need another rubber band, actually. So now we got this little poof. So then we're going to take our hot glue gun. Wait a minute. I'm not satisfied with this. I really need this rubber band to come up further. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. I lost my dang thing in the bobber. Zach, do you do much crafting? Zach? Are you guys still there? Hello? Did I lose everybody? Okay, cool. Hey, kid, how you doing? All right, Zach just took off on me, that's all. This can be a little bit of a pain in the neck here, guys. But as you can see from the green dragon, it's worth the worth the pain in the ass. Damn it. This can be a real pain in the neck. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. You back, Jack? So... Anyway, I'm a little more satisfied now. Now we're going to put this back in here. Hopefully, I can find out which way it went. Well, you can actually just put it under the rubber bands, really.
just like that there. All right, just kind of okay. So now we're gonna take the hot glue gun. This is the fun part. You just start going like this. Don't worry if it gets stuck on there. Uh -huh. No, I've, I've been washing dishes. That's all right. Now, that's all right. Now it's hot, so this has got to be done pretty quick. Like, because if you don't, you're gonna burn the crap out of yourself. All right, so I need some more hot glue. All right, more hot glue, more hot glue, more hot glue. I tell you what, you can go through some hot glue sticks in a hurry. If you're any kind of crafting. I use the Gorilla Glue. I'm going to start using the cheap stuff, though, because it really doesn't make much difference. Anyway, you guys get the idea? And then once you're done coating this thing with glue, then you're just going to paint it. You're going to coat this whole thing with glue. Now, like I said, you probably don't want to touch this thing. It's pretty dang hot. And you just keep farting with it until you get the look you want and then you just paint it you know you, you're going to want to cover up like this uh, rubber band can go now pretty much or not anyway so one breath weapon and then when the dragon gets here i'll customize it some more i don't like the way it's shaped right this minute but that can all be modified. So that's how you make a breath weapon with the tampon, folks. One breath weapon. It's not complete. But I will show it to you when it is complete. So that's how to make a breath weapon with the tampon. A zip tie. Then a hot glue gun. And when you're done, it's going to look like this. It's going to look just like this. You can see where the rubber band was. But for all, and this is uh, 30 feet of breath weapon. So, how you been, kid? <laughs> so, how'd you guys uh, like that little instructional video? Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about it. I'd like to hear it. I really wish some people would uh, start joining me and Zach. And uh, thank you, Rivers. So let me take a head count real quick. So me and Zach are going to be playing DDO here in a few minutes. Does anybody want to play with us?
By the way, the roll of the day was a 17 today. No, that was yesterday's. I didn't roll today yet. Roll of the day is, oh my goodness, an 18, folks, an 18. Hot dice tonight. So we have an 18 for the roll of the day. So listen, Rivers and Cujo and Kid, I need people to join the stream from time to time, like Zach did. All you got to do is just do it. Yes, it was. So, hey, y'all, who's going to play DDO? Come on now. Talk to me, please. Talk to me. Somebody say, look, look, it's Friday night, and Zachary and Pegleg, Redneck John, and, and Revenant King John are going to be playing DDO. I got me a rogue. He's got a paladin. I know the game really, really well. I can take y'all on some really, really cool adventures. It is a free, free, free game. So what? God bless America. Everybody makes excuses. <laughs> How come they can't put your damn headphones on? Shit, Rivers. You know, I'm not going to. Hey, here's the thing. I love all y'all. I really do. But what I'm not going to do is, is beg people to play DDO with me. I just shut Zach off. So, I mean, me and Zach are going to play DDO. I don't know what world he's in, but I, I'm going to call telephone in a few minutes. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to get DDO up and running. Like I said, it's a free damn game. Here it goes. It's loading right now. I haven't played in a while. But they got the keep on the borderlands, for God's sakes. It's a hell of a good game. So anyways, folks, me and Zach are going to play some DDO. And y'all are not. In memory of Joey. Warlock Joey. And all the rest of the people who've given their lives in this country for the freedoms that we forsake. Let's do a moment of silence. Okay, folks, I want to thank the kid Wilton. I want to thank Cujo. I want to thank Rivers. I want to thank uh, Save or Die Channel. I want to thank especially Zachary Melvin for uh, getting on the show with me tonight. He's done this two or three times now. I've enjoyed every bit of it. Um, so uh, I don't know what's going on, but I shut my stream down every day. Hate told me that uh, when he goes to my channel, he sees a black screen. And I guess that's because uh, when I go to his channel, I see, you know, a picture of a bunch of figurines. So I need to figure out how to do this right here um, with me. And it'll say waiting for me to go live. So uh, that's what I need to do. But anyway, um, I wish y'all would play. If you want to play, 540-321-4552. That's my telephone number. Wait till after the show goes off. Give me a call. Me and Zach are going to be playing. I'll tell you what world we're in. I've already pulled it up. 
So everybody, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a breath weapon with DM John. Um, hey, I love you, brother. Uh, as soon as I get that dragon or sooner, maybe uh, tomorrow you can give me a call. I, I'm sorry I missed your calls. I've been out, and like I said, I bought a new truck. That thing is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't like the payments, and I don't like what they gave me for the old truck, but the old truck was uh, just getting ready to take a real big shit. So anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. All right, night off.